I'm kind of scared that this isn't going to be focused on me this video and it's going to be focused on the background. Today I'm here to bring you guys my October favorites. I feel like I just sat down to film my September favorites and saying how excited I was for October. That literally feels like a minute ago. <sighs> Still sick, you know. Okay, this is a mess so far. Let's get on to the actual real favorites. I don't have many products that all talk about. It's more things that I did this month because this month was a big, it is a dive. This was a big month in terms of traveling and beauty events. So the first one I don't want to waste your time with because I talked about it last month, but I just want to say that it's still my favorite. It's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I seriously love this foundation so much and I highly recommend it. I'm going to link my favorites video from September down below because I talk about it way more in depth. But I do just want to say that I'm still loving this foundation. It is without a doubt my favorite foundation that I've ever used. So I want to address the elephant in the room and it's the fact that I went to BeautyCon and Gen Beauty and for both events I wore the same lip color and everyone was asking me what it was but I was stupid and didn't look at the labels. But it was actually a combo of these three lip products that I was using. I lined my lips with this NYX lip liner in the shade Auburn. And then I put on the soft matte lip cream in the shade Transylvania. It looks black on the bottle, but then you put it on, it's like a really deep purple. It stays on all day, it really doesn't move. Like even when you take like a makeup cloth to it, it still has residue left over. So it's really, really long powering, long wearing. It's really good. My lips kind of look flat when I just wear these two. So I'd like to add a little bit of color to the middle and that like really changes the whole look. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in the shade More Better. And I just put this right in the center of my lips when I do these lip combos and it is what I wore at Gem Beauty and at BeautyCon. So if you guys were there and I met you and you asked me what I wore and I said, I don't know, but everyone's been asking me that. I should have looked at the label, but I didn't. I think it's Black Cherry. It's not Black Cherry. It's called Transylvania with a mix of More Better and a little mix of Auburn by NYX lip liner. But mostly it's this color. So that's... <coughs> Let's stay on the topic of lips and let's talk about a lip balm that changed my life. I got this in the Beautycon bag. Like they gave the talent a goodie bag and this was in it. It's called GlossierBalm.com Universal Skin Salve. I use this just on my lips and it is amazing. I don't know where you can buy it, but I'm going to have an Amazon link to it down below. That's the only place that I can like think of. Um, I'll check Sephora, but I'll definitely have an Amazon link to it below. It is amazing. It is seriously so good. It instantly just soothes, soothes your lips and makes them soft. They look nice and shiny. They look, <coughs> they look nice and shiny. They look healthy. And it's just, it's a really pretty look, I think. So I really am enjoying this lip balm right now. It's definitely one of my favorites. I hope it's not too expensive, but I mean, I'm going to have the info down below to it in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Highly, highly recommend. Next up, we have a blush, and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Dazzled. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I just like this because of the color on my complexion. It's a very nice plum without being too dark yet too cranberry and also not too red and overpowering of my light skin tone. It's a very nice muted plum color with a little bit of shimmer in it to just raise up my cheekbones and just add nice color to my cheeks. So I really do enjoy this. And if you guys can get your hands on it and if you're fair like me, I definitely do recommend it. And it's just great for the fall and for the winter time. Next up, shouldn't even be in a favorites video because I Snapchatted of it just a few days ago. But since using it, like, oh my god, it's amazing. This is the um, Bum Bum Cream, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. But what drew me to this was the fact that it said Bum Bum, and also the fact that it smells like pure heaven. This smells amazing. I think I have an exorcism going on right now or something. I don't really know. This is really, really amazing. This is bothering me. I really do recommend this. It smells really good. It gives you results pretty quickly, so I like it. I recommend. Last two products are hair care products, and these are both by Mark Anthony. Um, I went to Gen Beauty. I met someone from Mark Anthony. I can't remember what her position was, but she worked for the company. She was super sweet, super nice. It was great to meet her. And she gave me a few products, and this was one of the products that she gave me. They are the Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner, which is really good for colored hair such as mine. Um, if it's sulfate free, that means it's kind of going to keep the color in better. So after I bleached my hair, my hair has been dead, like 
dead, 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 dead. But this has made it so much softer and really has brought life back to it. And I just noticed how soft it is now and how smooth it is. And it smells like coconuts. And the best part is that the scent lingers. Oh my god. The scent lingers and it just stays in your hair so you smell like you have coconutty hair all day and it's an amazing scent. If you don't like coconuts, I don't recommend it because it is very coconut and it does linger. But if you are all for coconuts like me, it is your shampoo and conditioner from heaven. Hey Alrighty, let's talk about everything else besides materialistic items. My favorite event from this month, I had Gen Beauty, a beauty con, and homecoming. Gem Beauty was awesome. I went up with Saray to New York and we just hung out for the weekend. Me, Saray, my friend Ryan Charchin, we all hung out. It was so amazing, so much fun. Gem Beauty was a great time. And then I also had BeautyCon, which was so fun. I absolutely love BeautyCon because I meet so many of you guys. I also got to see people like Jasmine, Danielle Marie, Sarah, Tila, Emily, Kaylee, Natalie, Suede, Aiden, Ryan, Chloe. Yeah, I just got to see so many of my friends that I haven't seen since LA that I miss so terribly. So I got to see all of them, which is absolutely amazing. And then at BeautyCon, I was just so overwhelmed by the amount of love and the amount of people that were coming up to me for pictures. It was truly amazing. And I've never met so many of you guys. And it warms my heart an unbelievable amount. Like you guys will absolutely never know how much you actually do mean to me because without you guys, I would literally be nothing. I would not go to BeautyCon. I would not be able to do what I love and it's so rare to love something and have it love you back. And then the last event was homecoming and homecoming was really really fun. It was just fun because it was like my last senior homecoming. I was on the homecoming court if you guys don't know. I actually had ACTs the morning on my homecoming so I went to ACTs, the football game and then the dance and then like a little party that my grade had. It was really fun. Yeah that was my homecoming. I'm kind of sad because my last spirit week is over, my last homecoming is over. But I'm looking forward to my homecomings in college and how they'll be different than high school. I'll do favorite songs and then I'll wrap the video up real quick. I really like Sorry by Justin Bieber. Oh my gosh, that song is so fun. It is so good. It's such a jam. X's and O's by L King is such a fun song, okay? Like if you don't jam to X's and O's, like what are you doing? Also, the song that I put in my last video Kill Our Way to Heaven by Mil Mi Mitchell, I don't know. It's really, really good and I've also been jamming out a ton to that song. So, that's all for this month's favorite video. I guess the next month will be November and that's crazy. But that means it's gonna be starting Christmas. So I'm really, really excited for November because that means Thanksgiving and then Christmas and then New Year's. Alrighty, so after I died about 30 times this video, I'm gonna stop talking because I think I'm talking a little bit too much. So I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Be sure to subscribe and uh, I'll see ya. Bye.